Good morning, YouTube. We are out here at San Rafael Swell. We ended up having to move campsites last night because we were camped up on a cliff. Beautiful overview, but it was really, really windy. So we moved down here uh, to a lower area and we are at something called the sinkhole. I have no idea what the story is behind it at the time of this filming, but I'll look it up later. So they've got it all fenced off, but there is a sinkhole. It's way, way, way down there. And just some more footage that shows you just how beautiful this country is out here. We're going to head into Moab today. Check that out and see, see how the town's doing. There's the Bone Daddy. So it's time, we're going to head into Moab and uh, check the town out and we're going to probably hit up a trail while we're there. Papa Dan's is what I ended up going with, uh, the sweet garlic. It is not the hot version, so I want to have a runny nose and have to drink water after it. So we're going to try it out. It's kind of pricey, 15 bucks for a bag, but hopefully it's good. I've never stopped in this place before, and it's not, uh, not real big or anything like that don't have a whole lot but we'll try it out so we're gonna go up and check out this book cliffs trail I'm not sure where it starts I gotta look at the book but uh, the map the Crescent Junction and in case you're wondering where that is that's the turn off to Moab so this is I-70 you take that exit and head south of here about 25 miles this is in Moab Okay, we decided to come up towards Crescent Junction and we are now on a trail called the Book Cliffs Trail. It's completely green, so as you can see, it is just basically a dirt road. Um, but as we get back in here, it's supposed to have some really cool scenery. There's a ghost town and a cemetery, and that's the, the intriguing part for us of what we want to go and see. So I, this one's definitely not a trail if you want to do something that has obstacles, but if you want to see something cool, it's supposed to be that kind of a trail. So we will see. Um, hang on one second. And uh, just, just in case you guys are ever out this way, for $15, this is actually pretty dang good jerky. So uh, we ate some of it already and you know, 15 bucks, but it is good. So stop in, give them some business if you're ever out this way. Crescent Junction Alien Jerky. Mm -hmm. up here at some remnants of something. I don't know if this is the cabin. Uh, according to the odometer, I'm still 0.2 miles away, so this may not be the remnants of the main cabin, but still definitely some history here regardless. Up here somewhere, and this is probably part of it, is the ghost town of Sago.
It'd be interesting to know what the history of this place was and who lived or worked here and just how old all this is. I'm sure it's at least 120 years old. Then you walk over here and you can see down there is some old fencing, maybe for a corral or something along those lines. Very desolate. I'm not sure how anyone could live out here, but the pioneers definitely used to. Folks, we have arrived at the cemetery. Which is right over here. This is one of the remnants of the Sago Ghost Town. This is the cemetery. And you can kind of see all fenced off. Some old graves. Some more graves over here. A lot of times these old cemeteries you can go in, they've got gates that allow you to go in and check out the old graves, but this one's completely fenced in, so we won't, we won't go in. Take a walk all the way around. Pretty modern grave over there. Probably a family member had it done. There's the Jeep in the background. And then if we walk over this way, there's a canyon down there. Looks like some old fencing as well, way down in the bottom there. Probably uh, some type of corral originally. And then there's actually a road down below us. We're not going to go that way today though. But it takes you through the rock there. Just hundreds of miles of different trail out here. So we are actually up at the main town of Sago now. So this is the, the ghost town and the remnants. Some neat buildings here, some neat remnants. So over here on the right, you can see, looks like it used to be an old cabin or building of some type. And then over here in front of us is the largest structure we've seen up here. So let's go take a walk and see what it looks like.
So here's the inside of the building. I'm really not in the mood to go climbing, so. I'm actually not going to go in there, but just to kind of take a peek, you can see the old remnants of whatever this building used to be. getting ready to leave and I knew there were some petroglyphs up here I wasn't sure exactly where and we just happened to stumble across them so I had to record this and show you just how neat this is and how big this wall is, this is absolutely amazing just incredible Okay, and then just to right around the corner, I found even more, and there's even more that are going to be down this way a little bit, and then there's also some across the road. This is just absolutely amazing to me. Okay, I hope that this is turning out because there's some more that are a little bit further away. But these are just, just amazing beautiful and that they've been preserved all these years and I'll go see if I can find the other ones too that were across the way okay I ventured my way across the road that's private property over there so I'm just going to admire this it's a little bit blurry um, there we go there are some more pictographs here amazing to me how they got these ones up here and then you have this down here I don't know if you can see it no, I'm gonna try and zoom in oh it's real light sorry I apologize um, but that's like coming up out of the ground and it's red with the no eyes I found that to be very interesting and then these are more of those um, antenna looking ones uh, with the no eyes 